Hello, everybody. My name is Shortline K19. And, uh, yeah, I didn't finish Mirror 2 last night, but because I had a sleepiness attack, I got sleepy and couldn't continue. Uh, but today, hopefully, we will be finishing Mirror 2 for, uh, for real, parentheses real. Where is Wa- where is Wagugus? Wagugus is not here. I did not finish Mirror 2 Spud, I got too tired. I would be unstoppable if not for, uh, Tired Sleepy, so... We're just gonna do that today, and, uh, yeah. This is also probably gonna be the last stream of 2023, because I'm not gonna be able to stream tomorrow. Or on New Year's, because New Year's, I'm celebrating with my family. And tomorrow, uh, all my family is going to be home, so I want to hang out with them. How are you doing, Spud? I hope you're doing well today. Um, last time, we got most of the way towards completing Mirror 2. We have all the modules, which is nice. I just want to send up a... Bought my aquarium supplies today. Hey, let's go. I, uh, I bought all of my... Uh, Aquarium supplies. Um, uh, no, I did not buy all the aquarium supplies. You bought all the aquarium supplies. Uh, I finished the station technically, sort of. I uh, got it most of the way finished. We have a spacewalk to do. Uh, we actually have multiple tasks we need to complete before we actually complete the station. The first is I want to take a quick. Uh, inventory of what exactly we have on station. Do we have any? Uh, we have a strut in there. Do we have struts? Yes, we do. Those are those are struts, I assume. Yeah, those are uh, those are strut connectors. Okay, so we do have struts. Um, that is good. What else do we have now? I, that's another strut connector. One of these modules, I do actually have a flag. Because if we look on one of the modules on biology over here, one of the flags is incorrect. There's one for technology, one for biology, even though they're supposed to be the same. Um, so we need to do that. And we also need to do an EVA to um, at least strut one of them up. Actually, what I might do is, how many struts are in there? Four? I think that's all we're gonna need. All we need is four struts. So we actually have enough struts to, to complete the final uh, assembly of the, of the station. Um, Another thing I want to check is I want to check all the flags, just to make sure that they're okay. Sorry, so yeah, all the flags are functional, which is good. Got a lot of it at Petco, but wanted a few things online, so I'm waiting for those to get here. Ah, nice, nice. I've been pinged. Oh yeah, I forgot to send out the ping in the, uh, in the Discord. Let me, let me go ahead. And, uh, let me go ahead and do that. Oh, I can just copy this message and just send it over. So, there you go. The Pingus. Yes, Pingus. Pingus indeed. Um. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, I might as well say also. Last dream. Of 2023. Yeah, it's almost 2024. Kind of wacky. In the, um. In the Astra server, which is as bad as it sounds, not that bad, uh, but uh, uh, in that server, there's a 2024 prediction thing that I've not yet uh, done. I actually need to think about my predictions for 2024 in terms of uh, in terms of space flight and maybe some other train stuff too. But um. But uh, let's let's go ahead and let's do our EVA. So we need to get Tom Wise out. 
Where is Tom Wise? Tom Wise is in is in Unity. Oh, something I also need to do real quick is actually need to transfer his parachute over. Uh, because um Yeah. He, uh, uh, I need to transfer his parachute over because he cannot carry the strut and the parachute at the same time. Yeah, how is everyone's day today? Prediction, Slim or IL-2 will uh, land successfully, but not Bolt. I think that's a fairly fair prediction. Slim is the Japanese lander, correct? Because that's already in lunar orbit. Uh, that's already out, out by the, the moon right now. Then obviously Intuitive Machines 1. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I am remembering. Um, that's a fairly fair prediction. Fairly fair prediction. Um, I think another... Decently fair prediction is that Artemis 2 will not happen next year, but it will probably happen early 2025. Um, that's another fair one, that personal prediction of mine. Um, another is... Hmm, how many Falcon 9 launches, right? Normally I hate predicting SpaceX because it's just so unpredictable. I don't even bother. But uh, it's the end of the year, so you might as well. I think they'll probably break 100 flights next year, but you won't see a, a dramatic increase in flights year over year like you've seen the past two years. Hello, Ryan. Starship IFT will reach orbit but fail on re-entry. See, I'm actually sort of pessimistic about uh, Starship IFT reaching orbit, not because I uh, don't think that it will It will probably, I think it will have a fairly good shot at reaching orbit, um, but just because I know my history and... You know, with SpaceX flight, uh, SpaceX Falcon 1, they were so confident that the third flight would make it to orbit, and then it didn't make it to orbit for a, a very stupid reason. So I wouldn't be surprised if... I'm, I'm preparing myself for IFT-3 not to reach orbit, but I'll be pleasantly surprised if it does. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing today? Um, that's fair. That's fair. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Um... Why do we have... Okay. Can I... I'm okay. I have a runny nose. I see. Are you getting sick? Uh. It's it's almost like the voices talk to you. The voices talk to me, and then they, they found a way into your brain, because you got a Penn Central SD-45. Me and Spud are talking about various spaceflight predictions for next year. Um, of course, I do have other predictions for other things. Um... Maybe some, some railroad-related predictions, but uh, I'd have to think on those a little bit more. Um, let's see. I'm just floating outside the station. I actually need to go ahead and find what module I need to replace this, uh, this thing on. Okay, it's that module down there. Uh... The funny Chinese private rocket with the chunky SRBs over each orbit, because I feel like that would be funny. It would be hilarious. Um, here's the main thing. Will Astra finally die? Uh, I, uh, I mean, everyone thought Astra would die this year, but they didn't, somehow. Um, still not dead yet. I don't know how, but they're not. Uh, Astro transitioning to just, like, I've been debating, um, oh, my dog is snoring. Bear is, Ryan, Leo, and Bear are on my beds. They are indeed snoring, which is good. Um, can I take this flag part off? Yes, I can. Um... Brick and Crack Cat, my beloved. Yes, Brick and Crack Cat. Alright. Uh, there we go. The actual proper name for the module is on the station. The biology module is now actually the biology module. There you go. Um... I, Spud, I've been debating on whether, you know, you know how I, uh, I have this, this thing where I, I, I don't say his name. He who shall not be named. The CEO of Astra. Uh, 
the the goofiest mf to ever have a space flight company um but i'm i'm jokingly going i think i'm jokingly going to call astro just apollo fusion because that's all they are at this point they're just the company that they bought now their original idea is dead and they're only alive because they bought this one company that sells uh spacecraft engines so <sighs> I, uh, let's see. All right, we need to do some struts. Oh, Ryan, um, do you have any, I know it's not spaceflight related, but it is prediction related. Do you have any interesting train or and or Amtrak related predictions for next, next year? Will the Acellas enter the new Acellas enter service? The answer is probably no. That's my bet. Can't wait for McDonnell Douglas Starliner to fly crew. So can I, so can I. McDonnell Douglas Starliner. Hey, it's true. McDonnell Douglas bought Boeing with Boeing's money, so. Uh... Absolutely not. The new SL, as I reckon, could enter testing on the NEC by the maximum before the end of the year. I see. Yeah, that's 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 what I was thinking too. Um, I have a prediction that at least one fairly sizable short-lined and or regional company will be sold to a major railroad by the end of this year. So, uh, by the end of next year, one that's not already announced. Because by that by that point, I could just say, "Oh, Montana Railing dies at twelve oh one a.m. January first, twenty twenty four, and then I'd technically be right." But that's not in the spirit of the. They have to rebuild the finalized design because all the existing units were built to an unfinished blueprint. Uh, yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh. Now I'm just thinking of the um. I don't like Alan Fisher, but my god, does a man make some funny memes, which is the, uh, the, the, the big French fuckery. <laughs> or no, you know, it's just funny. The Amfleets will stay strong, my charmings. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, I don't like Amfleets. This is pretty well established, but they will. They will indeed. We'll get more era adventure train sets, or, which is pretty, pretty, pretty epic. Uh, as for stream predictions, uh, I don't know. Um, will I hit, when did I start streaming? 2019? We can go back and look at my first KSP stream, I guess, at the end of this, if we get this done within a reasonable hour amount of time. Um, there's a clicking noise coming from upstairs. I don't know if you can hear that, but oh well. All right, um, let's see. I have a checklist. Um, uh, let's see. Add struts. Oh, I was supposed to reposition one of the engineering modules because it was off slightly, but does it really matter? How off is this module? Prediction, CFT Starliner will be perfectly fine with some extremely minor oversight that will happen and cause space people to freak out about it. Something like a patch... Something like the patched being forgotten on Dragonflight, or a minor docking delay, or something, or the toilet failing, like on uh, on one of the crew missions. What what mission was that? Crew one, where the toilet failed on Dragon. I mean, they're only going to the ISS. They're, you know, from from the time the lift off to the time they're docked to the ISS is what like a day and a half. So, I guess you could go in a day and a half without it, but it's still annoying. Uh, stream predictions. Uh. I don't know, probably going to continue playing the same games that I've been playing for the past 10 years. Um, although after, I want to play more Subnautica. I want to, um, I don't know. I like my little PNG right now, but I, that might be replaced sometime through the year. Who knows? More, more cool art, more cool, cool stuff. I have over a year recorded in Trains A New Era. How many hours are in a year? And how many hours do you have? 
Uh, I mean, most of that's probably just sitting downloading things because it's Tain, but still, it's kind of crazy. I, can I board? Yes, I can board. Uh, let's give him his... I have 8,800 hours, basically. Gosh. Where did I just... Where did I... What module did I just go in? I am not proud of this. Uh, I mean, there are worse things to uh, have 8,800 hours in. Like, uh, I don't know, prison. So... Alright, I guess we have a whole bunch of extra struts. What module did I just enter? Uh, I guess we have an extra parachute on the on there now. Um What what do we what do we what do we have on the station? Oh yeah, we have an extra flag. We'll just store it in there. Um Okay, yeah, so the station in terms of modules is basically done. Um, we can do a little New Year's, sort of. A Russian ISS module will experience a coolant leak during, during Q1 2024. Um, yeah, probably. Okay, so in terms of just generic predictions about everything, uh, maybe everything, maybe not everything. Um... In terms of space flight, Artemis 2 will be delayed towards towards early 2025. SpaceX will get more than 120 launches between Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy next year. Um, a booster will break 25 flights. Um, Astra will, or Apollo Fusion, sorry, will die. Uh, McDonnell Douglas Starliner will go perfectly fine, except for a couple of inconsequential hiccups. Um, let's see. Uh, Starship will fly... That is very specific. It's happened about three times in the past six months. Yes, yes. That is not a that is not a terrible prediction. Um, Starship will fly more than uh, five or more times. Uh, the new Acellas will enter service on the Northeast Corridor, but will still be delayed. Uh, the Arrows will be delayed by a few years. Uh, we will see HHP-8 cab cars. Um, let's see. One major short line and or regional railroad will be bought up by a major railroad within the next year. Uh, I will continue to stream, <laughs> I guess. Uh, a personal goal, I think I'm going to take more Amtrak trips next year than, than this year. Um, let's see. What else can I predict about? Um... I don't know. I might get a new PNG. That's then now we're just getting into weird personal predictions. I don't know. The HHP8s rise again. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. I I'm going to predict that there's going. This is kind of a weird one, and this is just kind of a uh, Voyager one will still be operational by the end of the year. Yeah, this is kind of a weird one, and it's not really that specific. But I think within the next year or so. Uh, we will probably see something along the lines of maybe the crypto fad or uh, or crypto NFT metaverse fad at least begin sort of like that. Um, yeah. That's a complete shot in the dark. I don't really care, but uh, oh well, I wouldn't be surprised. I will continue to spam. Be charming. Some a probably some AI thing agreed. Yeah, probably. Um. We will not experience the singularity and or fusion and or alien contact within the next year. Uh, we will not. <laughs> and uh, I was going to say I'd 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 eat eat my hat, but uh. Last time I heard someone say eat their hat, they actually had to do it. So uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do uh what about the merge, Michael? Oh god. <laughs> you mean the Chris Chan merge? I have not paid attention to Chris Chan ever since he was arrested. Uh oh well. Anyways, the station's done. Uh 
Now we just need to do a progress mission, and then maybe a Soyuz mission, just to round out the station. What other merge is there? Uh, uh, the final one. The Transcon merger. I'm going to predict that uh, there will not be a transcontinental rail merger within the next year, as much as I want that to happen. Um... Uh... All right, let's do a uh, let's do a progress flight. Um, let's do a progress flight real quick, and then we'll do another Soyuz flight flight, and I think we'll end it off, uh, end this project off. A, I finally can say I completed. Well, I can finally say I completed a project. So, uh, I guess what I can do is I can just literally just switch to the editor. Uh the VAB. Uh, progress. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Progress M2-3. Um, do we have the CubeSat on this? No, we do not. Oh, uh, pull up, because like, they're Ogalopoly in the, in the industry, like there isn't one already. Hey, it works for Canada, so oh well. That's a whole separate argument that I could get into later, but, uh... Okay. Pull up, give me a moment.
everybody, I am back. I am... The laundry is on. Hopefully you can't hear that, but in, on my end, through my microphone, I can hear the, the laundry. Hopefully the audio is still okay. So sorry about that. Um, You have to go through my my uh my bedroom to get to the laundry room and oftentimes i am just interrupted by people needing to do laundry and then promptly doing laundry in my room um which does suck but we are gonna go ahead and uh launch our our progress um oh my gosh why is it no why is why no flags? Um Okay, there we go. That flag. Uh, is the audio okay? Can you hear any laundry in the background? The Uh, let's see. I the then just the dash that flag and it's see okay there we go and uh yeah do we have a flag for progress yes we do A little bit, yeah. Okay, let me pull up. Give me, I, I have a solution. Let's see if this does anything. I'm gonna put a blanket underneath the door to see if it blocks out any of that. I'm also going to uh, pull up. Take my phone. The microphone is, is okay. So I'm just gonna move that further away and then lean in a little bit and see if that does anything. Uh, progress M2. Progress M2. Okay. Let's uh let's um fly this one last sort of mission. Um, oh, my dog is up. He is up. Uh, do you want to go anywhere? What is, what is he, what is he doing? Oh, he's, uh, staring at a ball. And we're on the wrong one. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't think he likes the sound of, and Jeb is in here. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we'll revert back to the BAB. Uh, let's see. So open desert launch site. I think. I think. Uh, I think this is just gonna be the last one that we fly. Um, the last. Uh, the last flight because I I started late and I really don't feel like streaming for long. We can go back on my YouTube channel and check out my uh, my first KSP stream as sort of just an end of year sort of thing. Um, and Jeb is still in the fucking thing. Okay. Uh. Oh well. Uh, that kind of sucks, but... Oh, he wants to go out. I keep being interrupted. I really need to... I, uh, I really need to, um, get my Be Right Back screen. I really need to get that done. It's one of those things where you're just gonna walk. Oh, oh, he went upstairs. Hey. I really need to uh, get my Be Right Back screen actually uh, be have that be a thing. Or my special, the dogs are interrupting me stream. Or, uh, you know, oh, I need to do laundry. Or someone's coming to do laundry. One of those. All right. That as target. Uh, 
stuff. I, uh, I missed it. Oh, let's see. Ugh. I hate that. This... What's even in the laundry for it to make that sort of rattling sound? Like a belt or something? Okay. How many ever launches later? Um... We are now going to fly the last... The last flight of our, uh, of our Mir 2 gameplay. Just a simple progress flight. Um... Yeah, so... When did I start this project? Like two, two and a half months ago? It's been... I've been working on it for quite a while. But, uh... It's, uh, it's gonna be nice to have it be complete. But, um... Yeah. So... Anyways, let's fly. Five, four, three, two, one, boost. And we are off. Okay. Got a good lift off. Huh. You know, I was thinking today, right? Um about the the various rocket launches that I've seen. I've only ever seen two. One was back in 2017, which was an Atlas V. Um I've seen two in person. Um, which was Orbital Sciences number seven. Um, and then the, the second one was the, more recently, a couple of weeks ago, uh, which was Starlink Group, Falcon 9, Starlink Group, uh, 6-34. And, um, you know, obviously a few days later I ended up going to the, uh, Any Space Center Visitors Center, and, uh, that's a whole story that I, I kind of don't want to get into, but let's just say that I was sort of rushed through the whole thing, like, super rushed through the whole thing. But one of the impressions that that left upon me is, Falcon 9 is not as big as a rocket as I thought it was. But, my gosh, does does it not make a... Is it not just completely bright when you see that thing go? Ugh. Oh well. I don't know what the first stream for the new year is going to be. Maybe something sort of uh, relaxing. Or maybe either EU4 with the Super States mod. Or maybe some more Subnautica. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to... Uh, actually, Monday probably I'd, I'd do the next stream. Maybe I can talk to some people and see if... Uh, see if... Um... Oh. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, yeah, they call it hot staging for a reason. Also, I totally forgot. Uh, um, yeah. A little predict- a little yeah, a little bit yeah. Prediction, Valve will announce game in 2024. It will not be a Half-Life game or a Portal game. It will serve as a demo, serve as a demo for something more than as a mainline title, like Aperture Desktop or, or a Half-Life Alex. Interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, one thing that I actually I want to see. Railroader is a game that I want to get, and I actually want to see if I can wrangle some of my friends into playing it with me on stream. Because um, that game looks... I haven't seen much of it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and it looks fun. I do have Rarids online, but that's also Rarids online, so... Um... Alright, time to... fly into orbit. Maybe I should play Portal on stream, the original Portal, and you can see my complete lack of uh, critical thinking skills. That'd be sort of fun to do.
Huh. I'm gonna go do other things. Take care. Well, thank you for joining in, Spud. And, um, as always, and Happy New Year, by the way. So. Yay, we're in an orbit. You can... Our spacecraft, there it is. I... I love how you can still see the oh no it's disappearing the the debris ring that we uh, unceremoniously imparted upon upon the world what should we uh what should we name this cube sad we'll we'll deploy our little what, what let's see oh no that's the actual uh That's the Zenit stage that we'll have fly away. What should Happy New Year? Happy New Year's bud. What um what should we call this? What shall we call this? I'm just gonna call it in honor of, of, of my interruption. Laundry sat one. One A. Okay, laundry sat one A. Sure, there we go in this 120 by 85 kilometer orbit. Um, there we go. Uh, all right, now we just need a rendezvous. Um, if I were to just do this, right, how quickly would we be able to get how quickly and how close? 6.2 kilometers? Yeah, that's probably worth it. Uh. Oh, why is my maneuver nodes fucking up? There we go. That as target. My dog do be snoring, though. Um. Yeah, does anyone anyone's watching of course always act like someone's watching never never just go silent until someone decides to poke their head in chat because you know no one likes a silent streamer unless i don't know some people probably do but um uh does anyone have any particular new year's plans um my my sister well she's actually at the uh tomorrow we're gonna watch the uh what is it, the peach bowl i know nothing about sports uh, but it's it's Penn State, which is where my sister goes, versus, I think, Old Miss. And we're going to see that. My mom's making me wear a Penn State shirt to, to work tomorrow. Uh, we're going to come home and watch that for tomorrow. And then New Year's, uh, my whole family's going to be together. My sister's boyfriend is going to come, too. So I'm going to meet him for the first time. Um, but uh, he seems pretty cool. Uh, and we're also going to go bird hunting in the morning. So, bird hunting on New Year's. Um... But uh, my mom's already getting out that big New Year's ham, so that sounds pretty good. I, I do like my ham. Uh, New Year's Day, I'm probably just going to sleep. Something that I, um, for January is going to be an interesting month for me because uh, at work we're redoing the entire store, uh, which involves a lot of moving shit around and construction, which is fun. Um... And then I have maybe me and a friend are going to go out to, uh, we're going to go to Baltimore, mostly just to ride the transit system there, um, which is back in service because apparently one of the cars caught fire. Um, see how it compares to, to the greatest, the DC Metro. Um, and then I'm going to go see... Ryan, who was in chat earlier, I'm going to meet up with him. He's going to come to my house for a few days. And then at the end of January, obviously I have school starting back up, but I'm also going to go to New England to uh, to go to the big train show there. So, lots of things. Um, that's in addition to streaming, uh, uh, doing stuff with like my D&D group, um, which I haven't talked all that much about the D&D the group so far, uh, but it is there. I actually need to... Uh, get around to actually drawing my uh, my my D and D character, who 
I I already started on it, right? Um, but I haven't actually finished it yet because I've just kind of been completely unmotivated to do art. Also, I got really busy, so that's another reason too. Um, so that's fun. There is a it's it's really neat because there's a running gag in in our campaign where uh, the DM will um, he'll uh, start an encounter, right? He'll be like, oh yeah, there's an encounter that you're gonna have, right, with an enemy. You know, you better prepare. And in a decent amount of time, it's in there's you know, it's an actual enemy. But another decent amount of time, it's just a cockroach shows up in screen. And you have to fight this cockroach, and you just... Right, you kill it by stepping on it. It's just a cockroach. It's nothing special. But uh, a lot of the time, it's kind of a mad dash to just find where this stupid thing is. And uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, I'm playing... Um, let me get it up. I forget my own character sometimes. I am playing a... A, a, a ranger... So, that's fun. Um, uh, yeah. In terms of, like, New Year's resolutions or stuff like that, I don't, um... One New Year's resolution that I kind of want to stick to is just eating better. Not, like, more healthier, although that's probably better, but just eating at more consistent times. Um... You know, pretty standard, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Because that's something I, I just don't do. Um, I One that's a bit more of an aspirational goal uh, is... I want to see if I can get into a relationship uh, this year. I, um, I don't know how exactly I would go about doing that. Because I suck at meeting people, but uh, that is something that I want to do. Um, anyways, we are here. Oh my gosh. We, we have arrived. Oh my gosh, that laundry machine. Uh, we have arrived at Mir, and let's go ahead, set that as a target, and go ahead and begin our initiation of the final rendezvous. So, yeah. Um, another thing which I've been telling myself for years and years now is I, I sort of want to try and stick to a more consistent schedule of streaming. But, um, yeah. I, I mean, right now, it's... It's just that my schedule tends to change every about a month or so, so it's kind of hard to do that. There are certain things... I, I think once school starts back up again, I will try and at least have like one dedicated day where time slot where I'm always streaming. Because obviously with the next month where I'm just working a bunch and then I'm off rest of the time, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just sort of stream whenever. But it's always generally at the same time, you know. Um, something that I've thought about but will probably not happen. 2024 uh which is i don't know it might it might not uh actually getting like a 3d model um i've talked around with some people uh mostly jelly but uh talking to him uh it can be quite expensive but and i have other hobbies that sort of get my attention uh says as he looks towards this model train sitting on his desk um but probably probably not for that in 2024 maybe 2025 um, also because I generally like to save my money. Um, so. We do be coming into Mir. Oh, this is a beautiful station. I'm really happy. You know, at times it was a pain, but I'm actually quite happy about how this turned out. Um, one of the original ideas or reasons why I even started making this station to begin with is I had an idea for a cinematic... Um, like a Kerbal Space Program cinematic, which involved a Soviet, um, 
a Soviet Mars uh, sort of... Uh, obviously, there's been... You know, people generally know about um, the proposed crewed Mars and Venus flybys after the Apollo program, but to me, something like that is something that the Soviets would probably try and attempt if they could. And of course, the Soviets and later Russians were sort of masters of long-duration space flight and space stations and whatnot. So, I had the idea that they would... Uh, absolutely try and attempt something like that just for like a uh, shock stunt value like oh yeah we were the first people to send stuff near Mars uh, people near Mars you know if somehow they never had collapsed and the Soviet space program had kept continuing and the the kind of cover story that I sort of had for this right was that the the cover story for this is is that um the, the Soviets are, uh, they're adding new modules to Mir 2. They add a, a, uh, a, um, a DOS, like, uh, like another DOS, Vezda, and, um, there's a station, there's a station. They, uh, they add another DOS, and they, uh, they would have, like, a functional cargo block as well, and they would justify this by saying, oh, it's just, um, another expansion for the station, right? But they have progress flights that are fairly frequent, just coming up, delivering supplies to this, um, just outfitting these modules. And eventually, they they load up a crew in a in a special beefed up uh, Soyuz variant, and they basically, you know, attach a either a chemical or a nuclear stage on the back, and they just send someone a crewed Venus flyby. It's like a complete shock to the world, or something like that. So that was the little neat little sort of cover story. And I can actually go ahead and do that now. Um, I'm not really feeling up to it after this. I kind of want to take a quick break from KSP. But if I want to go back and do something like that sort of as a cinematic, I think that would be rather neat. Uh, something I can do. And that was that was the kind of impetus for just building Mir 2. Also because I just generally wanted to build a space station, and because space stations are cool, and it's my favorite thing to do in this game is to build these things. So, just sort of in general. Hey, progress is docked. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Mir 2. This uh this 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 project is is uh it is complete. Let's let us go ahead. Oh Bear's getting up. My my man Bear, he is indeed awake. Let's just I'm gonna quickly just rotate the station to a direction that I want it. Up oh, nope, that's no good. At nope. I forgot how sensitive the robotics are sometimes. Oh, that is wobbling like hell. Oh, oh, nope. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh. Auto strut. Auto strut disabled. Oh, come on. No! No! The stupid hinge. The, the stupid, the stupid, stupid hinge. I had this robotics drift. This, this stupid thing. Well, that, that, you don't know how much that sucks. Having it be like that. Ugh. That, that sucks so badly. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, come on. Why did it have to do that now? We can, we can adjust it ever so slightly. Yeah, okay. Can I lock it? There we go. Um, then...
Come on. Okay. That is going to annoy me to no end. Uh, but hey, at least we finished the station, right? And did it, it occurred here, too. Robotics, I don't like robotics all that much. I was, I was afraid something like that was going to happen, and of course it occurs the moment that I finish the station. We get the stupid robotic drift. Uh... Oh, of course, of course. I'm still going to rotate the station around like that, just real quick. Just so I can get the screenshots that I want for it. But it has been complete. The station is wobbling to hell, but... Uh, as long as, as long as nothing... Of course, I gotta, like, take this very, very slow. Just do it in chunks. In KSP, you don't have the issue where you have to deal with, say, like, gravity gradient stabilization in, like, real life, where that's something that you have to deal with. Okay, Mir 2 is done. Where did... I swear there was another solar panel. Oh, I guess it is. It's just, I kind of blocking the view. All right. Well, here is Mir 2. Let's, let's get some, let's get some quick, some quick screenshots. Not from there, obviously, but we'll get one from, from this side, too. Hopefully no one notices. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty shot right there. So yeah, we've completed Mir 2. Um, uh, it feels nice finally getting a project done for one. And, uh... I, uh, I, uh, I'm probably just going to, uh, that I would continue with, um, going off one of my early KSP streams, but I, I am too tired to continue. I've, 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 I've once again hit my wall. Well, because I come home and then I do a whole bunch of chores and then I stream. But, um, uh, I, I am I am quite tired. But anyways, it has been a fairly good year for me, I think. 2023 has been a good year for me. I hope it's been a good year for you too. Um Thank you for uh everyone who made this year uh so so great. Um so many different people that I could thank. Uh you know who you are if you are. But um yeah, boldly going into 2024. And uh, I hope to see you there. So, I'd also like to thank Spud and Ryan for joining in as the stream, as always. And uh, yeah, see you next year, friends. Goodbye, everybody.